Hey guys, this video is on my Micronox Mini Torch. This thing is only about the size of a pack of cigarettes, but the flame can get up to 5,000 degrees. It has no problem cutting through this aluminum can. The black cylinder on the right side is for butane, and the blue one on the left holds nitrous oxide. Yeah, that's right. This thing's got NOS. To operate this, you open the butane valve first. And I just use a regular lighter to light it. That's a little too much. Let's dial that down. The valves on mine are a little finicky. They don't like to stay put when adjusting them. Now we can slowly open the NOS valve. When it's right, you'll start to hear that torch sound. You'll see here how quickly this heats up the saw blade. It only takes about 20 seconds to turn it red hot. This is great for spot heat treating or annealing small areas of metal. Then to turn it off, you turn off the NOS first, and then turn off the butane. The torch tips are interchangeable. They just twist off. I only have the one tip for mine, but they did offer other ones. To swap out the cylinders, first make sure that the valve is opened all the way. Then back off on the retainer nut on the bottom here until the cylinder is able to pop out. Then grab your new cylinder, press it into the top, and spin that retainer back up until it presses the cylinder and holds it in. Then we have to puncture the cylinder. To do that you turn the valve down, being careful not to overdo it and damage the needle. You'll feel it when it starts to touch the cylinder. Then back off and you should hear hissing as the gas escapes. Now you can gently tighten it back down to close the valve. This tool was invented by a guy named Larry Ask in 1962. The torches were originally sold with disposable butane and Micronox cylinders. Micronox was a trade name that they came up with for the nitrous oxide. Radio Shack started selling them in their 1972 catalog. The newest catalog I could find them in was from 1999. By that time they had changed the design to have a plastic body. And they also offered a butane only model. If you want one of these for yourself, you can find them on eBay pretty often. Unfortunately, the Micronox and Butane cylinders are no longer being produced. For the nitrous, you can use regular whipped cream chargers. That's what I have in mine. The Butane, however, there was a guy on eBay making refillable Butane cylinders, but I don't see them on there anymore. You might be able to braze a fill valve onto an empty cylinder. There is instructions for that online, but I got mine from eBay a while back. These torches have even shown up in Hollywood as movie props. One was used in the original Star Wars movie. Supposedly they're also in some of the newer ones. I won't watch any Star Wars made after 1983, so I can't confirm that. A modified torch also made an appearance in the first Men in Black movie. There's really nothing like this torch that's being produced today, at least nothing this small. Butane by itself isn't going to get over 2400 degrees. These can do 5000. Alright, thanks everyone for watching. Check out my channel if you haven't already. See you later. Bye.